welcome welcome dear student in one another session myself darshana shinde today we deal with the drugs acting on the cardiovascular system in that we see the cardiotonics what is meant by the cardiotonics and amongst the cardiotonics we study the digitalis learning outcomes of our today's session after watching this video students are able to understand and recognize what is meant by cardiotonics digitalis with its pharmacological action extracardiac action of digitalis absorption fate excretion of digitalis and adverse reaction and mechanism of actions let's start the session first of all see what is meant by cardiotonics cardiotonics these are the drugs used as the or cardiotonics these are the drugs which increases the heart activity the drugs used as a cardiotonics are digitalis and allied cardiac glycosides cardiac glycosides are mainly obtained from the digitalis strophanthus and squid digitalis is most commonly employed cardiac glycoside used as a cardiotonics there is a reason why the digitalis is known as the cardiotonics we say later in the our between our uh, session first of all we see the digitalis digitalis is the most employed cardiac glycoside used as the cardiotonic drugs first of all we see the pharmacological action of the digitalis Car amongst that cardiovascular action the normal individual cardiac glycoside increases the strength and the speed of the myocardial contraction which increases the cardiac output however in the addition the cardiac glycosides constrict the peripheral arterial and venous beds this action counteract the effect of increase contractile force hence in the normal individuals digitalis in a small dose do not produce any significant change in the cardiac output that means digitalis shows its effect only when it's needed and not in the normal individual only in a uh, patients when the uh, there is a need of the uh, to increase the force of contraction of the myocardial contraction digitalis in the small doses do not produce the any significant change in the cardiac output even though the stroke volume and mean arterial pressure may be increased then we see in presence of the congestive cardiac failure that is ccf it has shows the different actions digitally shows the different action not in the normal patient but in the congestive cardiac failure patient it shows its action first one is the contractility digitalis has a direct action on, on the myocardium then it increases the force of systolic contraction of the heart the forceful contraction result into the complete ventricular emptying with the rise in the stroke volume this is the ventricular these are the and, and uh, these are the arterioles and this uh, how the systolic happen and how the diastolic happen then the duration of the systole is decre decreased allow greater time for the ventricular filling and the heart rest that's why systole uh, uh, time is decreased is beneficial to heart uh, that is uh, it get the great time for the ventricular filling these are ventricular ventricular filling and the heart will be the rest one the diastolic size of the heart is reduced hence the oxygen expenditure for the given workout is reduce the work capacity of heart is increased and greater percentage of chemical energy is used in the mechanical process so that i said that the why the digitalis is known as the cardiotonics we see the between our video this is the uh, right uh, position or the right time to state that the how the digitalis act as a cardiotonics digitalis does not increase the energy production by the cardiac muscles but improves its energy utilization that means digitalis 
do not responsible for the extra energy produ production but it utilize the what kind of energy or what kind of energy our heart is uh, produce that energy can proper utilization done by the digitalis that is conversion of chemical energy into the mechanical energy digitalis heart thus can do the same work with the less energy or more work that means if we give the digitalis uh, it is known as digitalized heart it give the same work with the less energy or the more work with the same energy expenditure therefore digitalis is called as the cardiotonics then we see the effect on the heart rate individual with the ccf digitalis reduce the heart rate small dose of digitalis produce a decrease in the heart rate by the stimulation of the vagus full digitalis dose also reduces the heart rate this effect is due to the cardiac action individual with the ccf the sympathetic activity is also increased a compensatory sensory phenomenon this is led to the tachycardia because of the digitalis there is a compensatory phenomenon happen it is known as the tachycardia there is increase in the heart rate then digitalis by improving the circulation decrease the sympathetic tone thus helping the reducing the heart rate then we see the conduction velocity effect the conduction velocity is slightly increased in the atria and ventricles by the small dose of the digitalis that is vagal action conduction through the av node is depressed by the both vagal and extra vagal action this effect is therapeutically useful for the conduction through the punchkin fiber system of a ventricle is depressed by the direct action then the we see the effect of the atomicity digitalis effect digitalis increases the ability of the punchkin cells and ventricular muscle to initiate the impulses this lead to the development of the ventricular extrasystole or even a ventricular fibrillation ventricular fibrillation that means the our ventricles uh, uh, can um, uh, um, do the more and more uh, responses that means the normal our uh, pulse rate is the ventricular systole or diastole rate is a uh, 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 pulse rate is 72 times our heart uh, normally beats 72 times but in a ventricular fibrillation uh, the beating of the heart is increases up to the 250 or more the 350 also per minute then we see the effect on the blood pressure intravenous administration in a normal individual shows increase in the mean atrial pressure while the person with the ccf shows the no such increases that means intravenously if we take on the uh, digitalis it show increase uh, mean atrial pressure but on the ccf patient it do not shows such kind of a increase in the blood pressure the effect of the digitalis on the atrial pressure pressure in the uh, uh, patient with the failure ccf failure variable and are usually secondary to improvement in the circulation the systolic blood pressure may rise with the rise in the ventricular stroke volume and diastolic blood pressure falls down hypertension is not the contraindication to the use of the digitalis then we see the effect of the digitalis on venous system digitalis cause the decrease in the venous pressure in the individual with the ccf congestive cardiac failure which is, is secondary to improvement in the circulation recently it is found that digital is lower the venous tone and increases the peripheral blood flow in the individuals with the ccf then we see the action of the digital is on uh, what is the action of the digital is on refractory period it is the period after the onset depolarization during which the stimulus cannot evoke the contraction digital is prolong the functional refractivity of the av node and then this leads to the decrease in the transmission of the number of stimuli from the supraventricular pacemaker to the ventricles that means digital is increases the rest period of our heart then we see the what is the relation between the digitalis and calcium 
Calcium ion increases the force of contraction of the heart. These are necessary for to increase the rate of force of contraction of heart. Excessive calcium ion concentration lead to the cardiac arrest in the systole. Though the calcium ions are necessary, but excess of calcium ion can produce the uh, cardiac arrest. Digitalis act as a synergically with the calcium. Hence, digitalis toxicity enhanced by the calcium. Hence, a special care is to be taken to avoid the calcium preparation in the individual on the cardiac glycosides. Then we see the extra cardiac action of the digitalis first on the kidney. In the edematous patient with the CCF diabetes, it is prominent action. Uh, uh, this is due to the uh, decrease in the venous pressure, bringing out the shifting of edema fluid into the circulation, improvement in the renal circulation resulting in the increased excretion of sodium water, then gastrointestinal tract uh, action. Digitalis in a toxic doses produces the diarrhea, nausea and vomiting. Nausea and vomiting are due to the stimulation of the cremoreceptor trigger zone. Then we see the mechanism of action of the digitalis. By this action is basically because of the inhibiting the sodium potassium pump. Digitalis prevent the extraction of the sodium and hasten the entry of the sodium into this way. Sodium potassium uh, pump can be inhibited by the uh, digitalis. That's why entry of sodium and potassium ion can be uh, hastened by the digitalis. This causes the faster release of the calcium from the binding site into the cy cytoplasm here. And digitalis also increases the calcium storage. Calcium storage into the cells can also be increased. Then, this action enhances the contractility, atomicity, ectopic pacemaker activity in the heart. The inhibition of the sodium pump prevent the re-entry of the potassium. If the sodium uh, inhibition, sodium pump inhibit, the entry of the potassium uh, ion will be the ultimately inhibited one. Then we see the absorption, freight and excretion of the digitalis. The glycosides are absorbed from the small intestine. The absorption through intramuscular subcutaneous roots are unreliable and may cause the irritation. Hence, the glycosides are administered oral and the intravenous route. Digitalis glycosides are bound to the plasma albumin. It is excreted through the urine. The body eliminates per day the fixed proportion of the digitalis present in the body the beginning of the day that is exponential excretion. This means that the repeated daily administration of digitalis accumulates in the body. There is no need of extra dose of digitalis, so the digitalis dose can be given very precautiously. Adverse reaction, it, uh, and because of digitalis cardiac toxicity is, uh, happen. Digitalis produce the cardiac arrhythmia is either due to the disturbances in the impulse formation or the impulse conduction or the both. Because of that, um, trachycardia with the block, sinoa arrest, uh, ventricular trachycardia, ventricular fibrillation can be this uh, can be seen. Loss of potassium enhances the digitalis toxicity in the CCF because of the increased sodium retention. There is a some degree of the potassium loss in the urine which precipitate in the cardiac toxicity. Then we see next toxicity on uh, GIT, gastrointestinal toxicity. Generally gastrointestinal to toxicity occur with the cardiac toxicity, anorexia, omitting are the common side effect. Diarrhea is less common. It is necessary to distinguish omitting to the cardiac failure itself. Then neurological toxicity in that true vertigo or visual disturbances include the appearance of the dancing and flicking dots, disturbances in the color vision. Uh, then headache is a fairly common in some patients and may be experienced tingling and numbling of the lips of the nose and cheeks and ear also. Confusion, delirium, then psychotic behavior may also be occurred in elderly patients. Then in a miscellaneous toxicity, skin rash, eosinophilia, digitally is, is able to cross the placenta barrier and thus may lead to the premature delivery. Eosinophilia is the condition that is the eosinophilia is the type of the WBC. There is a normal level higher than the normal level. It is uh, because of the parasitic infection, allergic condition, etc. Then today we deal with the cardiac glycosides. We see the digitalis, its action, pharmacological action, fate of excretion, adverse reaction. Then thank you very much for attending my
session.